everyone! Today I am going to be giving you a tutorial on how to paint artworks like these that I have on my screen right now on PenUp. So um, if you haven't watched my previous video about PenUp, then um, I recommend you watching it. It's um, just a tutorial, so um, I'm going to show you all the basics of PenUp and how to use it. Okay, so um, before I painted this, I was just scrolling through and um, here you can actually see what type of content people have posted so um, I looked at all the designs and um, I especially got amazed with this one and I noticed how she had blended the colors perfectly so um, I decided to make my own blended artwork so I made um, a colorful one and um, I'm just gonna show you how I did it so first you need to press start coloring and I'm just gonna erase all there we go so the first thing I did was picked the marker and I made it to size 100 and um, I basically picked all the colors of the rainbow. So I started with red. I just painted some red here. Then I went to orange. And then I went to yellow. And then I went to green. Then I went to blue. Then I went to indigo. And I added some violet as well. There. That should be enough. So then I took the little blender tool. Remember this thing? Um, it blends stuff. So basically all I did was just mold everything into a little mush of rainbow colors. And I also did add some more colors at the top as it looked quite, you know, simple. So I added some orange. And I just blended it together like so and I just added a bit more red okay too much red I just blend that in then I added some blue to make it a bit bright there so it may look like a different design but I promise it will look as spectacular Oh, and um, I also added a pinch of white. I always add a pinch of white when I'm blending. It's just give, it just gives a special effect. Oh, I gotta add the white. So I just put little specks of white um, around the place and I just blended it. And it did uh, actually lose the effect of the colors a little. So I went ahead and put a dot of the other colors around. Just most of them. Like, especially the ones which are, like, not visible. And I also put a bit of yellow and green. I basically put all of them in just, like, little dots surrounding everywhere. And I just picked the blender thingy and I blend. Okay, so this is close to the color I got before. And um, the next thing I did was just paint my background black using the paint bucket. So there we have it. Now we have a colorful dress. Just gonna blend and mush this part a little. Okay, I think that's enough. Then um, I just went ahead and used the paint bucket to um, color her face and arms and neck. I used peach. And I just need to color this part black as well. There we go. And then, oh, oops. Undo. Yes, okay. So um, I just went ahead and did that. And, um, yeah, I've colored this, I've colored that. Okay, sure. And then, um, I've colored all of that, so I'm gonna move on to the hair now. So, I picked a dark brown color, and I basically just did her hair, like so. Now, this part, you gotta be very careful, because, like, there can be small, small spaces, and they can be quite, and it can be quite hard to fill sometimes. So, um, but don't worry, you always have the undo and redo button to help you out, just in case you mess up. There we go. So, wait, that's the part of the hat. So, I'm just going to color that in anyways. Yeah, okay. So, um, I've colored her hair and stuff. So, um, I'm just going to give her the brows and the eyes, eyebrows and the... It's okay if the face goes black, it doesn't matter, you can always erase it later. Or make it peach. Yes. Then I took some peach here. Oops. 
Okay. Then I gave her lips, red lips. You can actually give her any type of lipstick you want. It's up to you. And then I gave her a burgundy bracelet. I'll just give her burgundy for now. I think I gave her red before, but now I'll, I'll just give her burgundy. There, burgundy, if you don't know, is like a hot pink. I'm pretty sure you'll see that. And um, next, I just colored the spaces in her eyes a white. Oh, paint bucket. There we go. So um, this artwork uh, actually um, reminds me of real paintings that I used to do. I used to blend them a lot, and um, I ju I'm just going to give her a rainbow nail polish. Um, use the paint bucket. I need to pick red paint bucket. There we go. Peach hand, red orange and yellow because those are the only nails seen oh there we go so she got nails and um colorful nails and um this actually reminded me of real paintings that i used to do i used to blend things a lot but um if you come across this artwork you can always use the helpful little blender tool i feel like it's a really cool tool and um, you can use it in any artworks you make i specifically just paint and i just um blend it all together to make ma masterpieces and um uh, i'm just gonna give her black shades for a second there we go, that's better. So, um, uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, comment down below for future video ideas. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!